But, Mr. Secretary, let's look back at the Trump record. Uh, under President Trump, the administration didn't stop Russia from completing, and they continued during the Trump administration to build the Nord Stream pipeline. By the end of the administration, it was 90 percent completed, and President Trump never condemned Russia for the poisoning of Alexei Navalny or his arrest, and both of those happened on his watch. Well, Chris, you, you, you said it yourself. They didn't complete the pipeline. We'd imposed real sanctions on the, the ships that were doing the construction, the insurers that were underwriting it. We made clear that that pipeline was not going to be completed. It would not have been completed had we had four more years. I'm very, very confident of that. And with respect to human rights, I, I, we take a back seat to no one. I heard Secretary Blinken talk about the work they're doing to try and convince the Europeans to stand alongside us on human rights violations in China and the work that they've done defending human rights against Russian abuses. We, we were tough there too, Chris. I'm, I'm proud of the work we did there. It was good work, it was serious work, and it made a difference. You also criticize uh, President Biden for not pushing hard enough on China to uh, learn the, the origins of the, of the coronavirus. But I want to, again, go back to your administration and the record there. President Trump and his team, including you, had almost a year after the, the COVID-19 first came on the scene to really press Beijing on, on what the origins were when the evidence was much fresher. Uh, now, uh, there's no question that the president pulled back from the WHO, the World Health Organization, but what did President Trump and his administration, including the Secretary of State, do to press China harder to get the evidence on where the COVID-19 vi uh, virus came from? Because we still don't know. Uh, Chris, the predicate of your question is all wrong. We have a really good idea what happened here. There is an enormous amount of evidence that there was a leak from the Wuhan Institute of Virology. There's a, there's a pile of evidence uh, 100 feet high. I have, I have high confidence that that's the case. We pressed the Chinese Communist Party really hard, not just the State Department, but our CDC and others too. We withdrew from the WHO, which become politicized. This administration chose to get back in that. I, I don't know what tools they think they're going to use. But we were serious in this endeavor. We'd made clear that there would be real cost to the Chinese Communist Party. We built out Operation Warp Speed. I was thrilled to hear they're going to distribute these vaccines around the world to countries that need it. They couldn't do that, but for the work that happened under Project Warp Speed, it was remarkable and historic work. We put real pressure on the Chinese Communist Party, and we got very close to being able to make a lay-down case for what actually happened and how this virus came to kill millions of people around the world and destroy billions of dollars in wealth. We know enough now. The cover-up continues, and it's time for accountability. So just to button this up, and I want to ask you about one more question. Do you believe that the virus came from a lab leak from the Wuhan Institute? I do. Finally.